Experiment 5 is entitled Analysis of Vinegar by Titration. In this experiment, we'll first standardize a solution of NaOH. Uh, to standardize means to determine the exact concentration of the solution. Then, we'll use the standardized NaOH to calculate the molarity of acetic acid and vinegar. In both parts of this experiment, we'll use a burette to conduct the experiment. This video will demonstrate how to use a burette and complete a titration. The first thing that we want to do is rinse the burette to make sure it is clean. To do this, we first want to close the stopcock. We do that by turning the handle until it is parallel to the ground. Next, to add our rinse agent, we want to move the burette down in its clamp. We're going to move it down below eye level. Also, to be safe, we want to make sure that we use a funnel in the top of the burette so that we prevent spillage. We then want to wash the burette with two 5 milliliter portions of NaOH. So from a beaker, add approximately 5 milliliters of NaOH through the funnel to the bottom. And then, with a waste beaker, open up the stopcock and drain the 5 milliliters through the bottom. This will help to wash the burette of any contaminants. Once you have drained all 5 milliliters of the first wash, you'll want to close the stopcock and then add a second fresh 5 milliliter wash to the burette and drain it out as well. Next we want to fill the burette completely with NaOH. To do this, we first want to make sure that the stopcock is closed. Again, make sure that we're going to pour below eye level, add a funnel to the top of the burette, and from your stock beaker, add 50 milliliters approximately of NaOH to the burette. You want to pour slowly and continuously and fill the burette up, and you want to fill to just above the zero milliliter mark. Now that we've filled the burette, we can now move the tip back up to laboratory bench height and just change your clamp to make that adjustment. We also need to drain the air bubble out of the bottom of the tip. So get a waste beaker, place it beneath uh, the burette tip, and then open the stopcock and drain down until the air bubble is gone. When using a burette, you want to measure the volume from the top down. Notice that zero is at the top, one, two, and three are below it. So we're measuring marks from above. Notice in this case, when we measure it, that we want to use the bottom of the meniscus. The meniscus is the curved part of the liquid. And we read from that. And you'll notice that this particular volume is 0.3 milliliters exactly. In this experiment, you always want to make sure that you add phenolphthalein to your acid mixture. Phenolphthalein is a color indicator that will let you know when the reaction is complete. Always remember to add one or two drops. During the experiment, you want to add NaOH from the burette to the acid solution in the flask. Um, add the NaOH slowly at first. And note that as the drops are going into the flask, you'll see a light pink color. This pink color results from the phenolphthalein indicator. Continue adding NaOH until the solution just turns pink. A nice light shade of pink means that you've just reached the end point. You want to avoid over titrating so that you get a very dark pink solution. So again, you want a solution that is light pink and you want to avoid the dark pink. At the end of the experiment, you'll want to drain the unused NaOH 
back into a clean beaker. As you drain this out, uh, this NaOH has not been used so that you can, you can return it to the stock bottle for the class so that others may use it. When you're finished with all of your titrations, you want to open the stopcock and place a waste beaker under the tip of the burette. And then we want to wash the burette with some distilled water from a wash bottle. You can simply squirt in about 10 milliliters of water to the top of the burette and then let it drain down into the waste beaker.